There's no load yet. Remember, we don't want load in the spine yet. There's no point in loading the spine until you've got the correct mechanics in standing that you can transfer from lying down. So you're getting that lying down right, transfer the standing, then we put some bands and loads on. So the most important thing is to get your setup right. All right? So I want to be standing up tall to start with. All right? I'm to hip hinge, it's a deadlift movement. Now, if you're a bit sort of unsure where to go, what you do is do it against the wall. So you know where you're going back to, and it really helps with working on getting your backside back and not letting your knees come forward, but also not letting your upper body come too far forward. Because what you don't want to do is go and deadlift like that where you're weighing forward, okay? This is a, remember, this is a Romanian hamstring deadlift, not a full deadlift from the floor or trap bar deadlift. It's a Romanian hamstring deadlift. So when you, when you deadlift, you go backwards with your bum. So the hip hinge part is just learning to go, okay, tighten here like I did on the floor, all right? Get that nice and stiff. My hinging point or bending point is here, all right? My knees don't go forward. I hinge at my knees and hinge at my hips. And so what I do is roll my hands down on my knees and stick my pelvis backwards to touch the floor. Now don't lean on that, touch it, and then I just reverse. Up with the hands, forward with the pelvis. Okay, so you're thinking tight here, back with the pelvis, down with the hands at the same time. Okay, I don't want to stick my bum back without dropping my upper body down, and I don't want to drop my upper body down without sticking my bum back. Right, and remember, it's a deadlift, it's not a squat, so you can't go and bend your knees forward. Right? Those knees are not allowed to go forward. They do move a bit, okay? They do move a bit, but they're not allowed to go forward like this because otherwise, guess what? You're doing a squat, right? okay? So this position is your hip hinge. Do it against the wall if you need to. Tap the wall, don't lean on it. Come back up and make sure your glutes are working the whole time. Don't come up with the muscles not working. So tighten here, back to the wall, tap it, come back again. Now of course, that's about half the range you would go in a Romanian deadlift, but you're just learning the hip hinge part, okay? So it's very important that you just work on that hinging part here, make sure you're hinging at the knees correctly, and so you can then transfer that into a more range, which is a deadlift, but also low. We can put any low through here. And this is really important that you get this mechanics correct, and you don't go and round your back, or arch your back too much. You don't go and stick your bum out too much, okay? Because if you do that when you do a deadlift, you're going to do it wrong. So, get that movement correct first. If you can, have a mirror so you can see what you're doing, side on, and get that right. Then, my best tip, most people then jump straight into a deadlift and load up their spine. Here's my tip. Use some resistance for your glutes and your core, but no axial load. Okay, now especially with people who've got disc problems who want to get back to deadlifting, and that's okay if everything's healed up and they're getting enough muscle bulk and strength around the spine to support that disc, that's okay, as long as it's not too heavy, but axial load early on is going to make them sort or ruin that problem. So, when you remove the axial load, use a power band. Now the way you do this is you tie it to a pole that's not going to move, and you use this as an extension resistance okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to move forward but as you can see I'm sort of leaning forward I don't want to be leaning forward so I need enough core strength here which you've learnt to try and hold myself upright and what I'm going to do to start with is go okay I'm going to practice that hip hinge that I did against the wall and so I've got full resistance here and then I'm going to hip hinge and that resistance gets less now if it gets to the point where it slackens off you need to step forward a little bit but what this, having a band does, is that I've got least resistance when I'm most vulnerable. Okay, so remember that. I've got the most least resistance when I'm most vulnerable, which is at the bottom of the deadlift. Okay, or bottom of the hip hinge. So when I'm at the top of the hip hinge, when I've got my glutes locked in, okay, my core's locked in, I'm upright, I'm in a hip extension, the resistance is the hardest. Okay, so it's a lot different. If I do this one, I'll just show you going down, there it's slacking right off. You can't feel like it, but this is slacking right off. So it's easy, I can control this. I can keep my core going, I can keep stable, and then when I come up, the resistance goes on. So I have to work on 
really getting that glute fire, which is fantastic for my posterior chamber glute activation, yet there's no load on my spine, okay? So I'm really learning how to control, as I get more vulnerable, it gets a little bit easier, I can really work on that, I can go a bit lower if I want to, and then up I come again. And it's quite difficult control-wise, so I have to really work on my stability and control and making sure I'm doing this perfectly to keep balanced. Okay, and once I've done that, then I can add the load. But that's a crucial thing, you know. When people are down the bottom deadlift, if you are, if you've got a weight, then at the bottom of that deadlift down here, that's when you're most vulnerable. That weight does not change from when you're upright to when you're lower. Whereas the band it does. So it's a great segue into going from can I do a hip hinge to then loading up a deadlift. So I practice that quite a lot, right? Now if you want to be very clever. Do that with some weight here as an entry point and we're going to move straight on to doing deadlifts and the first thing we're going to do is kettlebells and then a bar.